Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to MC Eternal. It sticks here. I'm in my funny little armor as per usual. Now guys, last episode was kind of a disaster. We uh, we ended up losing... Uh, we lost our, our shuriken. I have no idea what happened to that. And we also lost luggage. He, he's gone. But we did do some good stuff, guys. We got the advanced solar generator going. This is powering everything up. We have almost a full thing here. Oh, it is full. Fantastic. We have 5 million RF that we can use today. Now, uh, I don't know how long anything's going to take today. So first of all, I'm just going to concentrate on getting a mob farm done. And uh, below here, I'm going to look at the ground so I don't accidentally look at this guy. There's a creeper there and I can no longer hit him. Right, can we pick this guy up? Enderman. Is, okay, this only works on, on non-hostile mobs. Okay, I need a mob imprisonment tool, but in that case, we need plastic. And to get plastic, it's um, it's an interesting, it's an interesting way to go. So first of all, we need latex processing unit. I know we need that. I, I remember that much anyway. All right, we got that going. So we have that. We need one of these steel casings. Hey, I definitely clicked on that. There we go. Let's make ourselves a couple of those. Let's yeah, just two for now. Um, so. Then we also need an iron gear. Let's just make a couple of them as well. I'm sure we'll need them at some stage. Okay, latex processing unit. Now this thing doesn't take the sap out of the trees, does it? I think it just processes it after. Why have we got so much lag going on? It's insane. Uh, yeah, so this takes water and latex and turns it into rubber, and then we can turn that rubber into plastic. Okay, so we're going to need that. Um, the reason I want to pick this guy up is because, number one, he won't go away. He just stands around, gets in my way, steals my blocks. You know how it is. He's very, very annoying. Um, latex. Right, so there is something else. I've completely forgotten what it's called. Tree fluid extractor. There we go, guys. We need... Uh, well, we need four, technically, but... Three will probably do... What was in that bottom space there? Was it just an iron gear? Okay. We'll make four. We might as well. There we go. We got some weird lag going on today, guys. I don't know why. But anyway, the plan is to dig down today. So dig out a bunch of this stuff. And yeah, we can... It didn't break anything. It's okay, guys. It didn't break anything. And we're still alive. Um, I did not like that at all, though. What was that guy doing? Um, I'm hoping to find my, my tool today. I mean... I've looked in here, I've typed in shuriken and I can't find it, but unless it doesn't pop up... Like, it's it's definitely not in here, right? I mean, I don't want to go looking through everything to try and find it. But it should be in some chest somewhere, I must have accidentally put it in. It's, it's, uh, it's really kind of annoying, to be honest. Why can't I get out of the menu now? My goodness, okay, I don't know what's going on with the game today, guys. It's definitely not in here, right? I can't, like, click this and make it appear. I don't know where my shuriken is. It's it's really quite sad. But anyways, guys, let me get um, this stuff set up, and uh, we should make some plastic. How do we actually get plastic after this? I've I've forgotten how to get the the plastic into the rubber as well. Plastic. Uh, we want to make this plastic here. So we just smelt dry rubber, and dry rubber is lots of these tiny dots. Okay, that's actually pretty easy. That's fine. Okay, so we just need to get power to this thing, uh, which I will do with a GPS, I think. Uh, no, then we'll need lots of GPS's. Maybe we just get a weird one of those batteries that we have. One of these, and we'll use that with a GPS. So, if you guys have seen the GPS before, it's fantastic. It works with the, uh, with this machine over here, which is wireless redstone. So all we have to do is uh, place it in here, and it will wirelessly give power to wherever we mark this. So let's just say we had a machine on this block, we could mark it with this. And it saved that location, and then we could put this in here, and it would power any block we put in that space. So that's pretty cool. Alrighty, guys, let me get this set up real quick, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, now what happens, basically, is we place in some wood here. Then these will start filling up. Yep, these do not need electricity. That's pretty fantastic. We actually want to place a block placer on here, but it's going to face this way. So I'm wondering if we can turn this around. Oh, we can turn it around. Is it facing down now? No. I want to turn you around. Facing upwards now? No. So I click on the top and then that makes it face down? I think we may have made it face... And no, okay. You know what? I I'm sure we can probably place this if we want to. If we pick this wood back up. Go down here. Oh, we're going to need to place something there. Oh, this is... This is obnoxious, my friends. We need to make it face upwards. And then we're not going to be able to get out of here either. We want the block placer facing down. There we go. Okay, now we can get out. 
I'll just have to dig out this way. Oh, we do have a shovel. That's probably easier. Now we're gonna fill this all back in. There we go, and we we're, we have one less piece of dirt. Oh, it's on top. You know what? This is just nonsense, my friends. Anyway, the block placer is there. Uh, always on. So now we can just fill this, and it will place one, and it will always just try to place one. So when it runs out, um, getting the, the, the fluid, it will uh, eventually break that block. And uh, yeah, so now we can actually get all of this stuff out of here. I want to bring it over to here. Like so. And bring this over here. Now we can place in the latex processing unit right here. And it's getting to nighttime, but we should be able to put this all in here. Turn that off. Make sure we extract extract this on like that. Do that to each of these. That's always active. No, we want that on extract. What am I doing? And we want to do that and turn that off on this one. And we also want to do it to this one here. Uh, always active. Insert off. And then so this should be filling up with the latex now. Okay, cool. We just need to get this thing power. So we go like this with the GPS thing. We come over here and we place that in, in over here. Well, we do if that we can click on it. There we go. We managed to click on it, but we bounced away. That is unfortunate. You know what? You know what, guys? This is super annoying. Super duper annoying. Let's use this random marble that we have on us. Go in here, place in the GPS marker. That should fill that thing up. Fill that back up. Very good. Now guys, if we collect ourselves a sink here, this is pretty much an infinite water source, which is nice. Apparently that's a challenge. Not sure what for, but hey, whatever my friends. Now let's place this sink down here. Can place it anywhere. This is just a temporary solution, guys. We're not gonna, it's not gonna win any awards for being pretty. That is for sure. This should be getting water now. Should get the latex as well. And now we're getting the dry rubber, that is fantastic. And we can obviously put upgrades in this thing as well to make it go faster, but I don't think this can keep up anyway. So, you know, we'll just leave it as is. There we go, guys. Let's just wait till we get nine of these tiny dots of rubber. Then we can do that. And I think we can probably pick up that Enderman guy now. Where the heck is he gone? Oh yeah, of course, he's disappeared now. Great, great, fantastic. Alrighty guys, I've got a bunch of things going on here. I got speed, every time I drink my carrot juice, just fantastic. Um, I uh, I um, get this uh, this little thing going on. I get some speed. But anyways, guys, ignoring that, I have set up this little area here. As you can see, I've got my my thing back. I made another one. I took some time. I uh, put all my tables down here with the with the blade. Got the blade thing going again. You know what? I uh, got that all together, which is pretty easy. I set this back up over here, uh, so that if we ever need this again, everything is here and. Guys, I made some flattened transfer nodes. They're right there, as you can see. They are they are just awesome. You make one transfer node and you get eight of them from that. It's really, really cool. But uh, anyways, guys, as you can see, the mob farm is in. We have the plastic getting made as well. So the mob farm is ready to go. I went to the nether also. That's why I remade this, because I needed to go back to the nether and I cannot go in the nether without this ranged weapon. So yeah, we almost died in there, but it's okay. Uh, we have an, uh, a, a way to turn these on and off so we can make the room nice and dark and we can turn it on. Now what we need is a slaughter factory, guys. I think that's probably the best to start off with. Um, so let's head up and see how we make that. I actually haven't looked into it. I just know that you need, I think you need plastic for these things. Um, so let's type in that slaughter factory. There it is, industrial four going. So yeah, you need a bit of plastic, but um, it looks like we're all right here. We do, we should have a bunch of gold nuggets I just got from the nether, because I'm really running low on gold, so I just picked it up while I was there. Um, let's make one of these. And here we go, see what else we don't have. Okay, we, we need two swords and two axes. One, two of you, and two of you, my friend. All right, there we go. So we should have the mob slaughter factory. These are all the same, aren't they? Uh, and we have one of those because we made another one. Hang on a second. That seems like the most expensive casing. This one seems a little cheaper. What's this one? My goodness, we've got to make that one. That's the one we got to make. Should not be wasting my steel. Okay, there we go. Right, that is the cheapest one. I should, uh, I should, I should take care when doing stuff like that. Okay, so I'm gonna get a GPS, hook some power up to this thing, and we're also gonna get a drop of evil, guys, and turn this land into. It turns into like some black stuff, and it just. Oh man, it's facing the wrong way. Um, 
Place you there. Let me see what that looks like on this side. Yes, okay. So we need to give this power. It's going to pump out fluids, two fluids here. I think this is XP here. So we need to get this stuff out of here so that the machine doesn't stop working. So we probably need some iron drums or something like that. Or can we make an XP altar? I wonder if we've got enough stuff to do stuff like that. Uh, let's have a quick look here. Let's just type in XP because it should come up. Is it an XP altar? I mean, that thing looks interesting, but that's not what I'm looking... Oh my goodness, all of this has got XP on it. Okay, hang on. Uh, there it is, actually. Experience Obelisk, okay. I just don't have Solarium. I think I can make the rest of this stuff. Um, okay, Solarium. How do we make this, my friends? Soul Powder, Arc Furnace is gold, and Soul Sand. Okay, I'm sure the Induction Smelter is the same. Um, whites, so Sand and Soul Powder, so gold... And soul sand is what we need. Okay, yep, of course, gold. The one thing I don't have. So let's make one, two of those, and two soul sand. Okay, let me get the stuff for this together, guys, and uh, we'll see if we can get this experience obelisk going. That would be uh, fantastic. Alrighty, guys, so we now have a cable down here. I have made an iron drum, so let's just quickly place that right here. That's going to take the meat out of this thing. Yes, the meat can go down. And then the pink here can come out the back only. I should turn the rest of these off. The energy can come from anywhere because it's uh, it's on the GPS. The GPS is now powering this thing. So on here, we just want to extract, extract always active. And on here, we just want to insert. So that should be taking the meat there. And I thought this was XP, guys. So I spent a whole bunch of time making the XP obelisk. But uh, maybe we'll swap this out for um, the other thing later on. But for now, anyways, guys, we'll get ourselves some pink slime and some meat. We'll see what happens there. Okay, um, that is good enough for me. We need a way to get that out, which is going to go out here. So we'll need a drum for that as well. How come that's not working? Is that the front, maybe? Up. No, it can't come out the front, so I'm wondering why that's not connecting there. Alrighty guys, let's stick this iron drum here. This should all work fine now. We should extract always on. And here, insert. There we go. That should be working fantastically. Okay, what we want to do is place our dark glass here. Hopefully I have enough, because this stuff's kind of expensive. I have 11 left. Okay, let's leave ourselves a little space here. Walk in and out. Okay, good. We can we can do what we need to do now. Hopefully this thing uh, will kill everything. That is that is the plan. Otherwise we're gonna have to make something else. Okay, I can't break that, guys, because it's uh, it's impossible to 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 get it without the uh, silk touch. That's the word I'm looking for. All right, guys, let's place our drop of evil. This is the scary part. There we go. It's all been turned into scariness. Let's do this. Do that. Okay, nothing should spawn while the light is on. Let's turn this on. Okay, it's on. Fantastic. We've got no upgrades in it yet, so we're going to have to get some of those. Uh, I think we can display the working area. Oh, yeah, that's not going to work. All right, I'm going to get some upgrades first. These are the ones I'm looking for, guys. So we want to do quite large, probably. Let's see. Is plus six big enough? I'm not sure. Maybe just this one. Go for that. Let's try this one. So that was this one. So we'll go to that one next if it's too big. Let's let's test these out, my friends. Oh, it is so annoying with these boots on. There we go. Let's place this in. Where the heck is it gone? There we go. Okay, that is covering the whole area now, I believe. I think that's to the back of the room. Yeah, it definitely looks like it. All right, let's turn this light off. Then mobs should start spawning in there. Things are getting wrecked. Uh, I just realized we need to get the items out of there. Oh. Oh well. We're getting slime, and we're getting meat down there. Okay, that's pretty cool. But yeah, as I said, we can turn this back on. It'll kill everything in there. But yeah, it's leaving the items in there because they've got nowhere to go. Alrighty guys, we have the system all working now. There is one thing I cannot get working, and that is this obelisk. It took me ages to make the damn thing, and now it won't seem to suck out of pipes or anything. I cannot get the iron drum to do it, so for now I'm just storing the XP in here. I don't know if this machine stops if this fills up with fluid essence or not, so we'll have to find out. But uh, this thing is working fantastically. This is everything we've got so far. Magic powder, I like it. Glowstone, that's something we definitely need. We're getting a lot of sulfur, holy heck. Oh, uh, we might have to do something with that. 
Um, we're getting... Yeah, we're getting a bunch of good stuff. I need ender pearls. We're getting six as well because I'm sick of buying those. Um, I'm going to get these intestines and uh, open them all up because you get you get stuff from them. But uh, if you guys have ever seen a mob farm like this before, you probably have seen uh, these basic drawers as well with a draw controller and occasionally an anti-barrel. So that's what we're going to set up now. Um, I'm just going to leave this on because this is going to fill up pretty quick, guys. We only have two, two pages here and there's lots of uh, stuff in here that doesn't stack. Like these shields, that fills up a whole slot. That will go into this anti-barrel and you can have as many of those shields as you want. It takes up, uh, it'll just take one slot of this 1,024, no matter how many of those you have in there. So that's pretty damn cool. So we need to get the items out of here somehow. Um, I'm pretty sure we can put two of these in like the same slot. Yeah, you can. Okay, that's cool. So we can uh, bring that across there. I do not want that connecting there, actually. At all. Oh, we don't actually need to do that. What am I doing? We can, we can take that out. We've got the cable coming out right here. Um, I just want to bring it down, so... We can bring it down like so. I'm going to bring it underground and bring it to what we will be the other side of the area over here. We get a nice lag spike for ourselves. It's uh, It makes lots of noise, that thing, though. That is, that is the only problem with this thing, which is why I buried it so far underneath this. Uh, so on the other side, I want to bring this wall down because I want to keep this circle shape coming down underground as we head down. Uh, so I want to put the storage for this on the other side because we probably won't need to go there um, to collect the items. We'll just have to go over here. So I'm going to have to dig out another hole with this exact same size and hopefully that's enough space to fit in enough of these barrels. So I need to get some of this. I've got one piece of marble. That's pretty uh, useless. I know I've got some more in the system. So um, I'm going to have a little sleep, guys, dig out some more space and then uh, I'll show you this all set up hopefully. Alrighty guys, I have dug a big hole out here, so everything is now coming across from here. Should be going underneath here. Now this is set to priority zero, so we need to pluck this up a bit higher. Now nothing should go in there now, it should all start coming over here. Now I need to keep an eye on this thing so that it doesn't like put them in the wrong places basically. I don't, w I don't want to have several... Th Wait, these, these horn, this horn, right? I gotta pick that out. That's not right. Okay, I got, a, got got an achievement for that. That goes in this, right? Oh, have I done something wrong here, guys? Hang on. How does this priority thing work? I thought it worked like this, so it would come to this first. And then go to this, because this is priority two. Or is it the other way around? The higher the number, the more priority it has. None of these are stacking, but I'm not getting any of the stacking stuff out of here. So I need to start extracting from here. Turn that on. This should start filling up pretty quickly over here. And I just want to see if it puts the non-stackable items here. But anyways, guys, as you can see, we have the drawers in here. This drawer controller automatically sorts things into the drawers. We can only have eight stacks of everything in here, so I need to be careful. I may need to add in some, uh, some things that hold more items. You can get, like, little upgrades for them and stuff. Uh, it's becoming nighttime, apparently. Let's see if we can sleep. Okay, no, it's not quite dark enough yet. Are we emptying this out? That is the question. Yes. Okay, we are emptying this out. There is so much stuff in here, it's insane. Craziness. I don't know what to do with these spell books. Um, we might need to get another chest or something that just holds spell books. Because they're all going to go into a different slot here. Let's quickly take all those spell books out, I think. We may have to get like a filter or something that filters out anything called a spell book. I know you can do that, I just don't quite know how. Let's put them in our little chest guy here, like so. But anyway, as you can see, everything is working pretty well, my friends. Just check if there's any in here. There is indeed. We've got a lot of spell books now if we want to get into electro blobs. So there we go. All right, uh, everything looks like it's doing what it should do. Let's check the anti-barrel here. Uh, yeah, that's good. We lit that up, actually. I need to take a quick sleep. Where's my bed now? Oh my goodness. Too many items, too many things going on, my friends. But anyway, let's quickly have a rest just before we get blown, everything gets blown up. That's what I don't want. And anyways, guys, this anti-barrel puts anything uh, that is non-stackable in here. So, like a golden pickaxe, for instance. I don't know where that came from. I think I killed a, a, one of those invisible enemies. And yeah, we put this weird floor in, guys. These are all... It's a zag cobblestone thing, and it just sort of makes a weird pattern. I don't know how or why, but, you know, it's pretty cool. I like it. So, yeah, once we get this all emptied, I think it's going to take a while. 
But uh, scroll of disorient. Yeah, there's there's a bunch of stuff here. I don't know what to do with it. But uh, hopefully it all ends up over there. Okay, see, as we have a record bag. What's the difference between these two? A book bag and a record bag. Okay. I see. That is different. A drum. Surely a drum is not stackable. Okay, I think this is the wrong way around. Let's try this a different way, my friends, because nothing is going in here automatically. Let's put this up to priority four. And let's put you down, right? Okay, so now we'll see if things come in here or not. Because I'm pretty sure that cannot stack. Wait, we've got another type of bag up here. What kind of bag is that? It doesn't say. Oh, it's an ore bag. Okay, yeah, we got lots of different things going on here. There's a few things here that I probably don't want either. Or do we have something else over here? Tool bag. Okay, nothing is stacking. Like, uh, for instance, there's not two sulfur things, so that's pretty good. Everything's doing what it should do. I hope we don't run out of space. I felt like this would definitely be enough. But who the heck knows? Okay, there's the spell book. We need to get that out. Come here, spell book. We don't need you in there. Oh, and now what are these? Different scrolls. Okay. Yep. We're going to have to do a bunch of sorting here as well, I think. Once this empties, I'll use this. Alrighty guys, while that is all ticking over, I want to come over here. There was like a uh, a big explosion in the ground over here somewhere. Here we go. This is what I wanted to find. Now apparently inside here we can get some of the parts we need. Or uh, we can just buy them I think, but um, this is where we can get the parts for. We need to be careful here. Sky stone. Um... For AE, for Applied Energistics, there is apparently the part, parts that we need inside here somewhere. Is that it there? The chest, yes. Okay, Logic Press, Inscriber Engineering Press, and some more Sky Stone. That is very good. Um, our pickaxe is completely broken, as per usual, my friends, but here we go. That is looking good. Okay, I'm going to pick up the rest of the Sky Stone and possibly this chest, if it ever breaks. And I will meet you back at the base with all of that stuff hopefully sorted out, but... Uh, yeah, it looks like we got most of this here. Oh, oh, I'm out of food. Oh dear. I need to go home. I need to go home right now, just in case we get attacked by anything. Modded is a crazy place, my friends. Okay, guys, it is time to start getting into Applied Energistics. I'm not sure how far we'll get through it today. I really wish I could get a bit of capacitor for this, but we'll work on that another time. Okay, silicon, good. We are going to need that. We also need Fluix Crystals. Find ourselves a bit of water down here. We'll do just fine on these little ponds. Now we need to chuck some stuff in here, guys. We need to go. Du, du, du. I don't know what has just caused that. Uh, okay. I did not throw all of them in for some reason. There we go. Get away from me. Huh? Why isn't this working, my friends? Okay, guys. We have to take off our armor because it keeps pulling stuff towards us. Very annoying. Oh, it's still doing it. There we go. Oh my goodness. Charge status quartz. Just get in the water. There we go. That is done exactly what I wanted it to do. Finally. All right, let's put our armor back on. I have to eat a bunch of stuff. Normally that's pretty useful, but not today. Every time I get like an achievement, I get all this random books popping up. I don't know what is up with that. Anyways, guys, let's chuck this back in the system. We should now be able to make an inscriber. Which is like the first step to this system here. There we go. Uh, we also want to make this, but we can't quite make this yet because we need uh, the two bits from that. So I don't think this thing needs any power. So let's just put it here. No, it doesn't need power. Okay, so we need to make those. Uh, if we want to make this inscriber, we need to make engineering ones, which means we need to make these, uh, which is a diamond with the inscriber engineering press. And I believe we have that. Okay, cool. So now we get a diamond. Uh, I think there is one more press that we need, but for now I'm just going to try this. Put you in there, and you can only put one of these in at a time, and I think that- Oh, we do need power. Okay, I take that back. Um, oh, where did that go? Did I pick that up? Where on earth did that just go? It's all the way down there. How does it even happen, my friend? I just don't understand. But if we place it over here, I've got to take these spongy boots off. <laughs> Oh, now I'm hitting that and wasting power. Oh, well. Uh, let's put the inscriber press here then. Is that going to give it power? I don't think you can find out until you actually just put it in and it does it. 
There we go. Okay, so we need two of these, but you can't put any stacks in this thing or anything. You have to manually place it in like so. That's all we need for that. Now I think we need to put silicon in here. Okay, we got two of those. That's good. Now the next step is to have a sleep, guys. That's what you need. A good old sleep. Yeah, so we do not have the silicon press, guys. So we need to find uh, another one of those things. So uh, we don't have that much food on us, but I have got this meat feeder, which I filled up. But uh, yeah, that doesn't last very long, my friends. So I need uh, some better food before I go on a bit of a journey. Do we have any more carrots? Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna, gonna stick these carrots in here. It takes a while, but I'll be, uh, I'll be doing a few little things before that. But if we take a look at the map here, we should be able to find a crater somewhere. Now we found that one. Uh, where was that other crater? I think I need to zoom in a bit. So it looks like that. We need to see if we can find any more of those on the map. I'm pretty sure I found another one of those, but I'm not entirely sure. Doesn't look like there's anything over here. Because we really need that silicon press. Let's just quickly look in the buy menu. Um, I've kind of run out of money, but... Silicon press. Okay, we need 150, but I think we've got some rewards together, so we can probably buy that. That'll just save us a bunch of time. Uh, what do we have here? They're the bounty for killing them. Okay, there we go. We've got enough. A coal generator. Nice. Molten chest plate. That sounds pretty useful. Sounds pretty useful indeed. Um, we'll collect the rest of these. Apple juice. Nice. Uh, oh, challenges. We've done something as well. What is this? How long do we have to play for? I don't know how long that is, but... Oh, creative modifier. Oh, nice. Magical fancy dress box. I mean, what? Um, what does this do? A unicorn horn. Uh, okay. Well, we have one of those. This creative modifier looks really good. I'm going to put it away for now before I... I break it. I don't think we're going to use it as a modifier. We'll use it in um, some other things. So, right, we can buy that silicon press. Nice. That will be a good idea, I think, guys. Instead of spending a whole bunch of time going to find another one of those. There we go. We have that. So now we can throw this into our inscriber with some silicon. Uh, silicon should be in here. Bunch of silicon and clay. Nice. Cool. Let's place this in here and a bit of silicon. So we need two of these as well, and we need two redstone as well. So let's quickly go and get that. Redstone. Okay, good. We can complete this right now, and we can make the advanced one, which is much easier to use than this one. It's not actually in the original mod. You actually need to... Uh... Yeah, it's actually A2 stuff. So this is the one you have to use if you want to keep using that mod normally. Which is just crazy. So we do that, and we do that, I believe, and the redstone goes in the middle. There we go. But yeah, as you can see, you can only place one in at a time. So you have to keep doing these recipes over and over again to get all of these. And you need quite a lot of these at the end of the day when, you, uh, when, you, when you're when you doing this. So there we go. Cool, very good. Now, oh, we're going to need this machine. Come back here, my friend. We're going to need you to complete the next step, which is... The advanced it's inscriber, like so. There we go, there we go. Advanced. Fantastic. Now we can place a bunch of stuff in here and make a bunch of things all at once. Instead of, uh, yeah, see? We can lock it, can't be removed with automation. Yeah, okay, nice. And we can, we got all these upgrade slots as well. All right, fantastic. Alrighty guys, one thing I want to do uh, this episode, let's just pull these out real quick. I want to place you in, you in, and you in real quick. Let's go. Um, I need at least one of these. So we've done a bit off camera here, guys. I got this thing built. It takes a little while to build this thing, but we got to put some seeds in there to get pure Certus Quartz, which you now can make calculation presses with. Anyway, we just need one of those to uh, get this show on the road. So. Uh, let's go acceleration card is what we want. Acceleration. Yes, we want one of these. So we want to make some of these. Uh, let's make two of these because we're going to need a lot of them. Um, let's just make an acceleration card. Let's make two. I think that will really speed this thing up over here. Then I won't have to wait as long. Go with this. 
Oh okay, wait, that is much quicker now, as you can see. Much, much, much quicker. I just remembered I have time in a bottle, so I could speed this thing up anyway. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> Why didn't I just do that? Nobody knows, my friends. Nobody knows. Let's put the calculation thing back. Let's see how fast it does this. My goodness, that is fantastic. All right, let's place that there, that there, that there. Finish off these. There we go. Okay, guys, so that is looking pretty good. So next episode, we have almost everything we need in order to upgrade our storage system here. So we will switch over to Applied Energistics next episode, I hope. I think I have enough stuff, and I hope I have enough power. If not, we're going to have to make some more stuff. Now, I want to kind of stick to, like, natural means of power, so, like, windmills and the solar things. I know that's a little bit difficult, but I thought it's a cool little challenge I can put on myself. So I might have to build a couple of these. Maybe later on when we need ridiculous amounts of power, we may may have to switch because I just don't think you can get enough from these mods but we we will find out guys the uh the generators are looking that generator is looking pretty cool and I did see that there was like a windmill like wind film farm thing I don't know how big it is though like it what the heck but you can get a windows xp inventory pit I don't even want to know what that is right so you can get a wind generator here but yeah it only makes 80 is that much I don't know I, I think I'd have to make a lot of these. I don't know how big this is. Like, is this just huge? Like, you place it on the ground and it's just massive, like as big as these trees? I have absolutely no idea. But everything's looking good here, guys. Um, we've got everything going here now. We have the inscriber. So if we just check in here quickly. Uh, applied. Uh, we will be able to get on to making like an ME drive and the ME controller and stuff like that for next episode. Uh, where, we, where we will be able to move all our items into the new storage system. So that's, uh, that is the plan, my friends. So I will see you there, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the very next episode of Modded Monday.